lay down on your back. Let your feet drop out to the side. Allow your arms to rest heavily by your side with your palms turned up, your fingers curled in slightly. Take your time now to shuffle so that you can ensure your spine is as straight as possible. And then surrender your back body to the earth beneath you. Appreciate the sensation of being here in the vehicle of your body. How does it feel to dwell within this temple of your soul, this physical vehicle? Explore the sensations within this physical temple. There's a certain density or heaviness that we experience as we have this earthly life, the physical layer can feel rather cumbersome. Explore, feel, witness, observe. As we set our theme for our meditation today to explore the opposite of our earthly self, we are going to call this our light self or star seed self. There are many terms to describe the intention of what we are here to discover through our guided meditation today. Exploring perhaps into what we may term the galactic aspects of ourselves or our future timeline. As we accept our multi-dimensional self, we accept without having to logically understand, rather to accept through our deeply intuitive nature that we have both past lives and future lives and this current life and yet all lives are existing at the same time in this now moment. Such is the power of our multi-dimensional self. And so we don't see time as a linear construct. Rather time in the now is circular. So we are able to draw to this point of attention in the now moment memories of past incarnations, past lives, whether they be on the earth or somewhere in the universe, and also to we can connect to what we may term future selves. These are the galactic qualities that we all have. And yet those future selves 
whilst dwelling in a higher dimension than the three or four dimensional realm we find ourselves in as a human. is still existing in this now moment. So today you are literally communing with yourself as a higher dimensional being in the now moment. All aspects of yourself existing in this present moment. You are able to call to yourself to this very point of attention that you are currently in, those higher messages, those whispers from your star home. We have asked you to do and to read the star seed traits so you can determine which star seed or star self you most resonate with. However, as we do this meditation, that could possibly change. You may hear, feel, see or know that you are from another star home. Go with the imaginative process, for the imaginative process is in fact your spiritual knowing and insight. When you read the star seed traits, you may have resonated with more than one star home. This is very normal as you have been part of many star homes. You have been part of many galaxies in this infinite universe. The same as in your past life, you may have been English or American or African or Australian or European and yet what remains constant is you are a soul in the infinite experience of now just with a certain point of attention. In this now moment your point of attention is here experiencing this guided meditation. Become the observer to all that you experience in the now moment and know that you have the ability as a multi-dimensional unlimited self to call in any frequency, any knowledge any connection to past or future timelines that can serve you in this now moment. You are able to send energy back in time to heal aspects of yourself that have traumas or blockages or unresolved patterns and for today, we cast our energetic net into our future timeline to capture any wisdom that needs to be spoken from our star home, from ourselves as that star being. You will know that just by the mere fact that you are doing this meditation, that you do indeed have a star home, that you perhaps through your life have felt different, 
from others, that you have a homesickness or a sense of belonging somewhere else. Perhaps as a child, you spoke of your star home to your parents or had imaginary friends that seemed to be from another place. You may have always had a thirst for knowledge, for metaphysics or for the paranormal in which you find you quite easily understand. You may be naturally psychic or perhaps able to see auras or to read other people's thoughts or energy. You may find that you're very sensitive to crowds. You are no doubt the sort of person who understands the cryptic message and meaning behind your dreams. You may have a highly developed third eye centre where you can see geometric patterns or past life memories or visions for your future. You may be naturally drawn to connect to angels, a sense that you have guides, or a sense that there are other dimensions. And the majority of star seeds here on planet Earth at this time have come for a higher purpose and have a yearning to see world peace and unity here on earth. You may be someone who naturally is an activist wanting to dismantle powerful corporations that act from greed or malevolence because you have a benevolent nature. You want equality for all. And it's very important as that star seed to use the power of your inner vision to create peace on earth. If you have a sense that you have connected to everything that has been said so far. You already have a sense of what star home you hearken from. Then just accept and know in this present moment that what you feel and what you sense is true. Now go a little deeper. Open up the portal to your star self in a higher dimension. See a beautiful ring of fire before you. And the ring of fire is the portal that you can step through at any time to move out of the third, fourth dimensional reality that you're in and to move into a higher dimension to connect to your self as a being from another star system. Stepping through the ring of fire Connecting to yourself as that star being. Perhaps you are from Andromeda. Perhaps you are from Pallades, Sirius, Arcturus, Orion, Lyra. Perhaps another star system 
Wherever it is, go to that place now. Feel it like a magnet drawing you home. Drawing you home. Like a magnet drawing you home. Just go with the imaginative process. And as you stand before yourself, as this human self standing before yourself as a star being, a light being, what do you sense? What do you feel? What do you know? Can you see with your third eye? Can you see? How you look, just go with your imagination. Don't logically work this out. It will come just as a first knowing, a first vision. Go with it. You may see a form or you may see energy, colour. Or you may simply pick up on a certain frequency or even a sound. Let your two selves, your human self, your star self, merge together as one. So you have literally morphed into each other. Because it is you reconnecting with yourself in another dimension. How does it feel to be embodied in your star being self? Literally like you've put a space suit on. How does it feel? How does it feel? Reconnecting like a coming home to the truth of who you are. In this place, in this space. Many downloads will now come through to you. Continue to be present, to feel and move deeply into your breath, deeply into your breath. Let your breath keep on flowing as my voice moves away so you can download the higher messages from your star self. Notice many other beings around you, your star brothers and sisters. There's a rejoicing as you all reconnect. Feel the connection to these beautiful beings 
who are part of your star home, who always want the best for you, who understand that you had a very special mission to complete, to come into earthly form, to have this human existence, to come at this precise time on earth to assist planetary awakening. For some of you, this earthly life is very new. For others of you, you have had many incarnations, reincarnations upon earth. One is not right nor wrong, for the soul has a very special journey and a very special mission that adds to the collective whole. Each soul doing what they know to be right, to play the game, the divine game that we have all created together to understand light and dark. And so we play it out. Many divine plays of light and dark. As we are all perfect parts of the collective whole. Perfect parts of the God, Goddess Source energy. Gathering data as that God, Goddess, Source energy, having different experiences, sometimes on Earth, sometimes in another part of the universe. All perfect, all necessary, all divinely designed. Yet here, with our star brothers and sisters, it feels so good because we are in a higher dimension. Therefore, we have a greater understanding of the divine play that we are a part of. Perhaps as that earthly being, we've had some spiritual amnesia. We have forgotten who we truly are. And yet, reconnecting here with our star brothers and sisters, we have remembered. And we have a beautiful dialogue, whether that's telepathically, or through words, or through frequency, or through a sense of energy passing between us. However that looks is perfect. However that feels is perfect. But allow your star brothers and sisters to commune with you, to help you to remember what your mission to earth is all about. Allow my voice to drift away again so that you can have this communion with your star brothers and sisters.
feel so completely and utterly loved in this space. You understand the complete perfection of who you are as a soul, having a myriad of experiences. And you accept your earthly experience and you know that no matter what, you are always protected. You are always safe. You can never make any mistakes. You can never do anything wrong. From the perspective of yourself as a star seed, you came to Earth for a special mission and all the so-called human ups and downs, foibles and mistakes are part of a grander picture of sheer perfection. In this moment you make absolute peace with who you are and all that you've done and all that you will ever do. And you choose unconditional love for yourself. It feels so easy here in this space from a higher dimension. And you know that at some point on your forward earthly journey, you're possibly going to forget again the truth of who you are. But the seed has been planted now. And all you have to do is remember who you are and where you came from and that you are multi-dimensional and that you are a divine aspect, a divine spark of the whole meant to play out shades of light and dark for that is how we understand the truth of who we are without the contrast we have no way of knowing who we are. And for now, you just step outside of your star body. You may feel sad, but you have to leave your star home. But joyous in knowing that this meditation has helped you to connect and that connection remains always. It can never be severed. You have remembered, remembered. walk back through the star portal, the sacred ring of fire, and you settle deeply again into feeling into this earthly form, this earthly suit that you've chosen for this lifetime, and more than ever you feel into how perfect this earthly body of yours is. It's time to let go of any third dimensional construct that you should look a certain way. It's time to love yourself fully and unconditionally in this physical form because this physical form will serve you in the best possible way for what your soul has come to do on this earth, has come to experience on this earth. And all the unique gifts and talents that you have to share with others requires this earth suit. As we prepare to come out of our meditation, we know that we've had a very sacred experience connecting to who we are as a star seed, come at this precise time on earth for a very powerful mission. And 
those insights, those downloads, those intuitions that we had through this meditation. It's important that as we come back to full wakefulness that we write down in our journal what those messages were and that we take action upon those messages where we're being asked to take action. You feel very safe here in your physical body. You feel very enlightened with the connection to your star home, your star self. That is you. It is not separate from you. It is you. And the whispers that come from your future self as a higher dimensional being are experienced in the now moment. You begin to wriggle your fingers and your toes. You experience the air around your physical body. You're aware that you're breathing. And in your own time, you can make your way out of this meditation and be prepared for a little sign from your star self, a little sign that will come into your world in the next few days and know that it is direct communication, a symbol, a sign will appear. Namaste. Namaste.